So I know I've told you guys I'm in those Facebook groups. Are we doing the same guy for my area? I'm in Raleigh, Durham, Charlotte ones, um, Greensboro, Raleigh ones. I've hit the trifecta when it comes to these groups. But I was in one of the groups yesterday and I saw a guy that I used to know in there. And it wasn't like a post like, is there any tea on this man? The tea was in the comments on this man. And it's so weird. Like, it just boggles my mind that I knew this guy. Like, we went to school together, like college. Now, I didn't know know this guy. He was more of a, if you want to say acquaintance. But I also used to work at the student property. And he would be in there all the time with his friends that lived there. So I had many run-ins with this guy and I would have never pegged him for the things that they were calling him in the comments, which I truly believe the comments are real and give an honest account of who this man really is. Like whenever I go in those groups, I never see anybody that I truly know. I have seen a coworker and he was exactly what they said he was. But to see someone that you had many run-ins with you kind of loosely knew and he's in there and there's just not good things that people are saying about him the women are saying about him some from first-hand accounts some from second-hand accounts like he's dated their friends or whatever and it's just it just blows my mind like I just keep thinking like these men are just fighting demons out here and they just need therapy but it's so crazy to log in and see someone that you knew or know in those groups. Like at what point did you decide that you were no longer going to be a man of substance, of value, of great character and morals, and that you were just going to be this almost monster? I mean, he didn't do anything illegal, but... Maybe he did do some illegal stuff, actually. I take that back. Anyway, it's just, I don't know. It just is blowing my mind today.